She's a cutie. She's a beauty. Happy Saturday. In this video, I want to talk about my plant goals for 2024. Now, last year's plant goal was to get my plants as lush as possible. And this was one of the plants that I uh, decided to pot together last year. These were a combination of small pots that I potted together in this large planter. So this is my Hoya Princess and my Hoya Queen. And I think she she qualifies as lush. I love her. She is so pretty. I got some new leaves coming out and I got some new white ones. Look at that baby white leaf. She's so cute. She is doing fantastic. I'm absolutely loving her. Um, yes, yeah, so I think she's doing it. So this year I want to continue on what I started last year and I want to get my plants as lush as possible. So let's talk about it. So let's start with the struggle plants. Now, these don't necessarily need to be uh, propagated, but they're struggling. So this is one that I just did a video about last week. And this is my Manjula. I think I have found the solution to her problem. I was underwatering her. So I think it's going to be no problem getting her back to lush, right? It's just a matter of continuing on my water and continuing treating her well. So we're not going to belabor that point. Same thing with my reverted manjula. I think the moment that I continue to uh, keep watering her, I think she'll be fine. The third plant on the struggle list is my sterling. Okay, let me pull back a little bit so you can see a little bit more. So this is my Sterling. She looks really big on camera. She had she had some issues. We've we she has been on a struggle list, and I have been doing some things to get her off the struggle list. Now she had some pests. I did some spraying. What I've been doing is every watering, I take her in the bathroom and I shower her down. I shower her pot down. I shower everything. So that way, if she has some bugaboos, we washing them off. And I've been lightly spraying her. She has been fine. I haven't seen anything on her lately. So she's doing fine. The plan was, is if I kept seeing bugs, I was just going to get rid of all the leaves and propagate. But I haven't seen any in a while. And she's got a baby coming up. Can you see? See that right here? She's got a baby right here. So... I'm gonna see what this leaf looks like. And if this leaf looks normal, and at least of some level of a big, decent size, then I won't propagate. But in reality, I think I really want to propagate. She has quite, ooh, she has quite a long stem. And so I think I could cut, and she would still have enough stem to produce some babies and propagate this top. So I'm gonna just see what this new leaf looks like when it comes out. I feel like I wanted the plant to be in a healthy state before I cut her. I think I'm gonna just wait for this leaf to come out and de decide then whether or not I want to propagate her. But she's gonna be on the list this year to get her as lush as possible. I really wanna bring her back to her former glory because she was really beautiful. I'm just so mad that we, we had this, we had this big fight. <laughs> Nope. So Those are all my struggle plants that are on this, on my goal list for this year. Okay, so the first goal is I'm going to repair my struggling plant. Before we get into my second goal, let me introduce myself. My name is Yvette Boone. I'm a recovering software engineer and a lifelong creative hobbyist and plant enthusiast. And here on this channel, we create a safe space for black women to incorporate creative hobbies into their wellness practice. And that includes plants. So if you like this kind of content, give this video a like. And if you like this content, you will absolutely love our community. Join the community by hitting that subscribe button. Okay, so the next set of plants that I want to, that are on my goal list this year is my not so struggling, but not quite lush. The first one that comes to mind is my Calathea. So this Calathea, was a gift, and you know I am deathly afraid of Calatheas, but she's beautiful. I love her her red bottom, <laughs> but she's absolutely beautiful. Now I thought she was going to, I thought she was going, I thought she was going to chuck deuces, but she didn't. She's still here, and she's actually growing. So I do want to get her. I want to get her lush. Um, 
I'm almost afraid to say this out loud because that's when they usually do that, right? The minute you start caring, that's when they're like, oh, okay, now she care, I'm about to leave. So I don't know. We're going to see. But I'm going to, I'm, I'm thinking about repotting her. She's in a, um, a plastic four inch right now. Um, and she stays in the living room. She's not even in a window. She's just near a window. And she, she likes that level of space. I think she would like a little bit more humidity, but... Um, I'm gonna try to work with what she's working with. She's actually taking my tap water. So I'm not really mad at her. She's adjusted really well. I've had a couple, I got a couple of crispy leaves, but when I try to pull them off, they don't want to let go. So I'm, you know, I'm not gonna fight. Okay. I'm not gonna fight. We not fighting here. We don't fight. <laughs> we don't fight around here. So this is my Calathea. She's on the, sh on the not struggle, but not lush. I want to get her there. Also, also in this category is my Syndapsis. This is my silver, silver hero. I love her. I got her last year. You've seen her on the plant haul update. She's doing fantastic, but she's doing the Syndapsis thing where they put out these runners. And this is life and life more abundantly for them. I think what happens is they put out a runner and then they skip one or two nodes. I don't know if the universe is like, yeah, girl, propagate me which I'm like, I'm here for it. But I think what happens is they eventually come back and grow leaves in this space, but I don't give them a chance to. I love how full she is here, but I want more in here. I definitely want more than this. And that was always the plan was that I was going to propagate her. But her tendrils were so thin that I was trying to give her a little chance to beef up. I like the size of this one versus this one, but she's going to be on the propagation list. I'm definitely going to propagate her, so... Let's look at how she looks like now because by the end of the summer, I hope her, I hope that she's going to be a lot more full than this. I love the tendrils, but I want more. I like, I like a little bit more. Right now, she's got about, I see one, these are two different ones over here and it's two right here. So it's four all together, but I want this to be more lush. So she's on the list and I've already propagated her once. But I'm definitely going to propagate her again. These tendrils are the same um, tendrils that I just propagated. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a, a chance to put another set of leaves on here. And then I'm going to cut those and propagate those and add those to it. But already I've gotten some new growth. Look at that. Eee, I'm so excited. So this is one. I believe I cut that. Either way, I've got even more new growth in there too. Look at that. I love it. I'm excited. So I'm going to get this one more lush too. Oh, I want a big pot of this so badly. So I'm going to propagate as quickly as possible. So this is my Jade Syndapsis. So also in this uh, list of non-struggling or sh yeah, non-struggling, but not quite thriving. I propagated some slow growing plants last year. So I propagated my ZZs. I got my regular ZZs and my um, what's the black ZZ name? I don't remember right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that youth. <laughs> and my peperomia. So my peperomia, she, she, she funny acting. She is really funny acting. She's very what I call, she reminds me of a jade in that way where they grow, but just don't touch them. Cause if you touch them, the leaves fall off and then it's ah. Uh... Okay, so before we get to the major goal of this year, I wanna kinda talk about what my plan is going forward. So today was sort of like a really relaxed day. As you see, I'm watering plants in the back. My, um, my aglonema, and my peace lily are still in this room. This peace lily is really loving it in here. In fact, in a little bit, I'm gonna turn on my aromatherapy. We'll have a little piece of spa day in here today. But I've had my heat on in here and they have been loving the heat and the light. Oh, they are in heaven. But I wanted to talk about what I, um, what I wanted to do going forward. So you know, all of Black History Month, I did a community post every day and I highlighted a different creator every day here on YouTube. I want to get to know you better. I, I rave about our community so much 
and I love our community. Our community is fantastic, but I want to know you guys a little bit better. I want you to reach out and talk to me. So I want to know some things about you as plant parents. I, what I want to do, what I'm proposing is that every day for the next 45 days after this video is put up, I will start putting out a question every day. And just look on the community post. It'll be a, a you know multiple choice or a true or false kind of question. Nothing taxing. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your computer. I don't think you can do it on your TV just yet. I don't think you can see community posts on your TV. But it'll be really easy to go in and answer these questions. And it's going to be planty kind of questions, right? I'm not asking you, you know, <laughs> anything personal. But like, you know, you know, how big is your plant collection? You know, do you, how long have you had plants? Things of that nature, right? I think it'll be a real fun way for me to get to know you guys. Cause you guys see me and you get to know me, but I don't know as much about you as I want to. So I would love for you guys to interact with that, engage with that, and let me know some things about you as well. guys. Okay, let's get to the last part of my goal. She's cute still. I absolutely love this this um pot or cash pole. It's like it's shaped like a purse. I love it. Um I think it's so cute. This is my Puba Calyx. This is my Hoya Puba Calyx and this was the reason for this year's goal. I did, you know, I did a lot of plants last year propagating and getting my plants lush. It was two ways. I either propagated them or I combined them. And this was one that I combined, but what happened was when I put her in this pot, I kept all her tendrils on because you know, it's, it's not necessary for you to cut the Hoya tendrils off, right? They will eventually grow leaves out of them. But sometimes these plants get stuck and they need some help getting them unstuck. So the one thing I plan on doing with this plant is I'm going to cut a lot of these tendrils off. And if I can keep a let set of leaves at the bottom, I most likely will um, propagate them. So this Puba Calyx, I think is really pretty and she's doing, she's doing okay, but I think she can be doing a lot better. I really feel like she could be growing. I remember when I first got her, it was nothing for this plant to put on eight leaves at one time. And I can't tell you the last time I saw a new leaf on this plant. So Puba Calyx is one of the, this was actually the thing that spawned this goal for this year um, was the Puba Calyx. The next okay. one. So the next one that I want to work on is my Macrophylla. And this is part of the reason why. The way I have her set up is it makes it really difficult to move her. It makes it really difficult to like take her out and put her in the shower or do anything with her. Sometimes even to check on her to see how she's doing. It's difficult to do that because she's got this little setup where I thought I was going to grow her up and she is not an up kind of plant. I think she's a hanger and what I want to do is I want to get her in something that is going to allow her to hang properly. Um... So I'm going to take this, take her off the pole. I love this leaf. Matter of fact, this one, is it this one? Yes. I'm so scared to let her go because she's going to fall. I have her propped up on the wall. That's why she, this is one of my favorites. And this white one right here is one of my favorites on this plant. This thing is so pretty. And I will say, this is a really good grower. For those of you that are new to Hoya and you want to try a new Hoya, what's an easy one to get started with, this Macrophylla is a very easy grower. And I, I love how big her leaves and how big and pretty her leaves are. Um, that is just gorgeous. Look at that. Um, but yeah, I want to, I want to propagate her. She's got a lot of tendrils. She has a lot of, she got some new growth in here. Look at that. Oh, what, what, oh, what? There she go. Look at that pink leaf. That's her newest one. She's going to get bigger than that. That's the good thing about their leaves is that they come out small, but they grow bigger. I love that. Oh man, this is really bad. 
Yeah, so this one got me all in my feelings, and I'm scared to move her, and I don't like that. That's not that's not a good way to grow plants, because then you don't get to take them out and make sure everything is okay. I would rather have a plant that I can pull in and out really easy, and that's going to put me on the other, the reason for the next plant, too. I can't even take her out. That's how bad the situation is, so I'm going to put in a little footage of her, and we're going to talk about her from where she is because I can't afford to move her. So this is my Australis Lisa and my Australis. I combined those two together. I think it looks beautiful together and I love the aesthetics of it. But the reality is, is that that Lisa grows, I mean that Australis grows really quickly, right? And so she's got all these long tendrils, but I don't think she has enough root system to, to sustain it. I'm not doing a good job of this plant being like this i need more roots and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut and i'm going to propagate this plant because i can't i've had it like this for some time and she has not grown a new leaf on the australis part now the lisa has grown new leaves but not the australis part not not the green one and so i need to um I need to do something because I don't like that that setup. That's not going to work for me. So I'm going to propagate. If nothing else, I will have a much fuller plant. Do I see a bug? If nothing else, I will see a much fuller plant, which I'm not mad at, you know. Um, and if not, I think the mother plant is going to do much better once she takes some of the pressure off those roots trying to sustain such a long plant. Um, I think what happens is, is when the, when the plant doesn't have enough root system to sustain it, it either slows down or starts putting out smaller leaves. And I think that's what's happening. That, that would be my guess. I noticed that when I propagated my Matilde, she took off like that and just started, she's already starting to grow. So I think that's what's going on. We're going to try it. I, you know, I love experiments like this because it's a win-win situation. Um, either the mother plant is going to thrive and do well or the propagations or both, right? So to me, the probability of success is is high and I love that. So thank you guys for coming along with me on my tour of my plant goals for 2024 and I will see you in the next video. All right, have a good day. Bye. Bonus. Bonus. I might throw this on the propagation list. This is my Hoya Bella. She is doing fantastic by the way, but she, for whatever reason, child, we could talk about this. She has lost all her leaves on this piece right here. Don't ask me why. The, what I thought was going on was that she had was getting too much light, right? And I'm thinking, oh gosh, she's getting too much because she was growing right towards the light. Both of them. So you see this, both of them anyway. So I thought that's what it was. And then I was watching Honey's Plants and she was saying the same thing about her Hoya Bella. Just like all of a sudden they just drop leaves in the area and go bald. And I'm like, okay, well, that's what mine did. I don't know what that's about, but okay. And so I think now this one doesn't have any leaves. So I might have to wait on this to see if it's going to produce anything with a leaf on it. But this one does. And what I was thinking is, is I could go in and cut, cut down here maybe, and try to root. Because you know, you don't need nodes to root a Hoya. All you need is some stem. So I could cut here and leave these leaves and hopefully something else will grow out of it. And that way I can um, have a bigger, a bigger plant. Because as it stands now, all of this is from one stem. That's crazy, right? Like, see, it just broke off into two different spaces. Water coming down my hand. It just, I just watered this. So she's doing what she do. Yeah, this is just one, one stem. I don't like that. I am never a huge fan of that. I need more than one stem on the plant. I don't give a who, how pretty it is. I get nervous with one stem because all you got one shot to get it right. And if it ain't right, then it could go really wrong. So I'm probably going to be propagating at least this one. The other one has two, but this one only had one, even though she's a lot bigger. So I think I'm going to um, propagate this too.
<laughs> She's so cute. All right. Y'all going back to y'all Saturday, Saturday things. Bye. It's for real this time. <laughs> okay. Chad is hot. <laughs> Why though?